Okay, so my eye was bothering me and I was being a big baby. But I'm going to jump right into this video and I'm going to be using this tape shape and this MAC 225 brush. And I'll be taking this tape shape down my eyelid. This is going to prevent creases and, and help with where the wrinkles and folds are. And to set that in, I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And then I'm going to go in with these two palettes. And I'm going to be using this Morphe Jaclyn Hills The Vault palette. And I'm going to go in with this orange color called Rush. And I'm going to blend that in with the and Morphe 30 brush. Adding in more Rush. And then I'm going to actually go in, do a halfway rainbow. So I'm going higher up in the front area by my brow. And then I'm lowering it down under my eyelid. I'm going in with more Rush. And I'm just going to use that to blend out my eyeshadow i just want it to look nice and blended and not harsh next i'll be going in with this eyeshadow color called secret and it's a brownish hue and i'm gonna apply that in my crease just to intensify it and make it look very poppy I'm going to be going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and I'm just going to be swiping that back and forth, back and forth motions. Yeah. I'll be going over that brown color with this alert eyeshadow and it's a more poppy orange is just gonna blend out the brown I'm gonna go in with frames and I'm going to add more just go ahead add more go ahead go ahead add more to the end and just keep adding more to you see it looking dark you just want it to be dark so I'm just adding more I'm going in with more alarm and I just want to accentuate the front of my eye and add this orange So blend it out. Okay, you can take it up into there and I'll tape shape. Now I'm using this MAC 225 brush and I'm just doing a very neat cut crease in my eyes. So I'm trying to be very gentle with it and just make a like a like a hill on your eyelids, like a hill. I'm just trying to be real neat with it, like a keep like just real neat with it. Just keep it neat and yeah. I'll be going in with this color Boom, and this is more of a brassy, I'd say metallic color. I'm going to add that onto my lid on top of the tape shape. So for whatever skin tone you are, adding a concealer, like Tarte concealer, is always going to help intensify any color that you apply onto your lid. Firecracker with a little bit of bunny girl. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wet this with some Mix and Fix by Makeup Forever. And then I'm going to go back in and apply some Firecracker and Funny Girl. So just go ahead and pat that all in. Just do a patting motion just to get the most color out of the eyeshadow. Yes, I did just go back in and add some more brown in the mix. I'll be going in with this lit glitter and also this wear beauty glitter glue on my eyelid I got both of them from the makeup project I'm applying this very softly and I'm only adding a little bit oh glittery excuse me believe me I'm just patting that on my eyelid and it wouldn't even be me if I didn't go back in and add some more brown on the end and intensifying this look with secret I'm going to go in with this Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. And you know what? I love this bronze, but I don't even think it looks like this anymore. So this is the throwback package. Boy, I want it to look like I'm crying highlighter. So yeah, I'm adding more into my tear duct. Mary Kay MK Black. Underneath the hood of my eyelid. I'm going to jazz up underneath my waterline with this peachy color out this 35C Morphe palette. I 
I'll be adding more black Mary Kay liner to my waterline and this is just going to make underneath my eyes look a lot more bolder. Using this Morphe M506 brush, I'll be blending this out with the peachy shadows out the Morphe 35C palette. And finally, added lashes and then I'm going in with this Roller Lash Benefit Mascara.